What's up guys, Dan here with VitterTech, and today I'm gonna be taking you through a review of the Hydrate Spark 3. This is a smart water bottle that I've been using for about the past year. I'm gonna share with you what I liked about it, what I didn't, and ultimately whether it's the right smart bottle for you. As always, please hit that like button, hit the subscribe button to see more from me, and let's get into this review. So the bottle itself actually comes in six different models. That's Berry, Coral, Storm, Scuba, Royal, and Black. I myself picked up the Scuba model. It's the kind of teal blue looking color. And overall, I actually purchased this bottle because I was looking for something that really felt uh, quality, like really well made. I wanted something that was gonna track my water and how much I was actually drinking and as well integrating with Apple Health. So this model itself actually comes with sort of a rubberized grip on it. So it feels kind of heavy duty but it's also not something that you're gonna drop or be worried about breaking at all. This is the third edition of the Spark bottle. And one of the biggest changes with this one is actually that the battery is located on the bottom of the device. So you're able to unscrew this and access the battery. Whereas before, I believe it was in the cap. So I actually had to open the bottle in order to change it. But this way it's very easy to replace. I just did it before this video and it took me just a couple of seconds to unscrew this, pop the new battery in and it works right away. The bottle itself pairs with your phone and it syncs using Bluetooth low energy, so it's not really a concern about draining your battery too much by syncing with this regularly. And of course, it works with a lot of different app integrations like Apple Health, like Fitbit, and a, a couple of other ones like Under Armour uh, and HealthMate. The bottle itself actually works kind of like you would expect it to. I mean, really, it just tracks all of your drinking throughout the day and it logs it within an app. There's a sensor on the inside of the bottle that measures the levels of the water every time that you drink. And then it sends that information over to the app via Bluetooth Low Energy and logs it for you. Once you fill the bottle, it's gonna ask you to set it on a flat surface so that it can calibrate within a couple of seconds. Once it does that, it's going to glow to let you know that it's calibrated. Now the biggest selling feature of the Hydrate bottle, and this is kind of the reason that I think most people are gonna buy it, is not only does it keep track of your water intake like pretty much every other smart bottle does, but it's actually going to glow throughout the day to remind you to drink. And I'm gonna say it does that. It also is kind of a conversation starter. It's quite distracting for a lot of people around you. I have had this thing, well, and there it goes right now. I have had this thing interrupt my meetings before. I'm just very confused about what my bottle was doing, but I will say it's very effective in reminding you to drink. And the glow feature actually has a couple of different options in it. So there's actually three different glows that this bottle does. And you're gonna pair this to the app and then that's how you're gonna be able to change them. So the first one is low and I'll show you that right now. And you'll see it just does a little bit of a pulse. And the second one is medium and that one is gonna actually shift up and down. And the third one is high and that one's really, really gonna grab your attention if it's something that you're <laughs> not paying attention to. You can choose how many times throughout the day that you want it to glow and then it's going to sync throughout that time anywhere from one to ten times. You can also set it to always remind you to glow regardless of your daily progress just to keep you drinking water throughout the day or only when you're behind your typical goal. So diving into the app itself, let's just get into this. So when you go into the Hydrate app, you're going to be greeted with this dashboard and it's going to connect to your bottle and then it's going to show you your weekly progress. As you can see, I haven't been using this lately. It's showing zero, but essentially on this dashboard, it's going to show you how many ounces of water that you've been drinking that day, as well as a little dot to show you where you should be at that point in the day. You can also sync with your friends and it'll show you where they're at during the day and you can kind of start a little competition. You'll see at the bottom your stats, like your percentage of how much of your goal you've done, how many bottles that you still need to drink, and how many days that you have consecutively hit your goal. If you don't have your bottle on you or you're using another glass, you can also manually add water yourself, choose how much, and then just add that to the app and it'll add it in your rings. You can see your history as well by day or by month of how much you've been drinking. You can see all of your friends and where they're at that day. You can also watch them and that'll just add them to your circle as well. 
and then you can sync your bottles. So there is support for multiple bottles here. I have one at home and one at work so that I'm always tracking. And then in settings, you're gonna be able to change things like your weight and your goals, and it'll automatically calculate how much you should be drinking. As well, you can set your wake up time and your go to sleep, so you don't have to worry about it glowing at the end of the day when you're trying to get some sleep. So overall, I really like the bottle. I use it regularly for the most part. A couple of the things that I don't like, and this may stop you from actually wanting to get it. So number one is the batteries. And so in this case, they're not rechargeable. They are just a standard battery in the bottom that you're gonna have to replace every once in a while. It's not super draining. You're not gonna have to buy them all the time, but it would be nice to have something that I can just plug in and charge. Next is a little bit about the design. So like I said, it has this rubber grip around it. What I've noticed is that water will seep in between this and the plastic on the inside, leaving it to build up water throughout. It makes it look a little bit dirty at times and it's hard to peel off and clean. So that's something that you're gonna have to keep up with as well. And next is the sinking time. So I do notice a bit of a lag sometimes. I have to open the app and wait for it to sink. I'd like for it to sink a little bit faster than it does, but overall it still works. And last is the price point. So this is slated at $55 US. It is one of the more expensive bottles on the market. As you can see, it is quality. It has a lot of great features built in, but if you're looking for something that's not really gonna break your budget, this may not be the bottle for you. So ultimately, this is the bottle for you if you're looking for something that's a seamless experience, it's a quality bottle, you want something that's gonna glow and actually remind you to drink throughout the day, and you want that quality app integration with things like Apple Health and Fitbit. This does all of that. This bottle is not for you if you're looking for something that's gonna be a little bit more budget, a little bit cheaper, and you don't wanna go over that $50 US budget. So overall, let me know what you guys think about this bottle. Is this something that you'd be interested in? Let me know your thoughts in the comments as well. Always hit that like button, hit the subscribe button to hear more from me, and I'll see you guys in the next one.